Hi everyone, this is Judy again, and I wanted to let you know what I've been working on. As you know, I've this is the third of these recipe boxes I've made for gifts for people, and this is the last one I'll be making. Um, this lady uh, requested the colors of burgundy, black, and white, and there's some silver in this too. So I used uh, die cuts with a view, a view, I believe was the paper stack, and it was called black currant. So this is uh, my last recipe box. And instead of all brass embellishments, I used black brads. Usually I would use the gold. Um, the hinges I had were, were gold, so I had to use those. And this is the little lock. Uh, I also put some fancy flourishes on here too because this is sort of an elegant looking um, recipe box and here's the word recipes written right across here and then this circular deco right here and these are puffed up with uh, crystal lacquer so makes them a little fancier but here's uh, my favorite part is the fact that it is an easel recipe box and this easel pops up and it holds your card right here, your recipe card. And then um, there's a fold right there. When you're all done, you tuck it back in and it's held with a magnet. Really clever. And it's a design of Kathy Ortis from Paper Phenomena. So here we, here we have this box and it's all decorated all around and then open it and it's decorated inside also and there are 12 file folders that I cut and made I tried to download her gypsy file but I couldn't make it work so I just sort of made it up as I went along and um, with various categories this lady is a vegetarian so I didn't make too many meat categories. And then I, put, each one is decorated a little bit differently and I put in some index cards for her. And the neat thing about these are, they are full, true folders and if you cut something out of the paper, you can just stick it in there. And it's not gonna disappear down at the bottom or get all crumpled up because they, they're all inclusive. They, they hold everything together. It's always better to put them on the cards, but um, if you don't have time right then, you can fold it up and put it in the slot, and it'll still be in good shape. So here's the, the 12 recipe recipes that go in there, and then I decorated the inside of the box, too. And this is, the outside of the box is all medium white chipboard, but it's um, a little heavier than some others that I've, I've used. i got to turn it. All right. So this is this. This is going to go off this week to her. She lives in Washington. And um, I have meant, I've worked a long time on this. This chipboard is hard to cut. You have to use an X-Acto knife and I'm not really good at it, but I try to be pretty good. And then putting these hinges on is a stinker too. But thanks to a glue gun, you can get it done. Okay. Then my last project that I worked on was one I did a couple Saturdays ago. I went to a crop at our new Michael's store in um, town, and I didn't want to lug all my scrapbooking things. So a friend of mine has just become a grandmother for the first time. I was a little boy, and as you can see, his name is Nathaniel. And so while I was at Michael's, I had some coupons, so I bought a paper stack of baby boy stuff, papers, and some Joe Lee's, and a ribbon that says it's a boy, and I just, and six pa white paper bags. I just made a booklet. Oh, let me show you. It's, it's very simple. In fact, I even messed up on it, but she'll never know. Here's the front page, and I did sign it. It says, Handmade by Judy Goodson. August 26, 2011. 
Um, I wanted to sign it because I've decided I work hard on my projects and I wanted to put my name on them. And uh, the first page even has a little tag for a um, picture. And then this is a three page spread. And I used um, EK Success trim here. I thought it was very simple and easy to do. It didn't have a lot of little pieces and so forth that would be hard to glue, so I, I trimmed all these out. And then I cut little little pieces of the paper just so she knows where the slots are and knows what to do with them. Um, a lot of people think, oh, we got to glue everything on, but you don't because you can put them right in, put the pictures right in these slots, and then when the child gets a little older, you take that picture out, um, scrap it, and then put new pictures in so people can see. And this book is really made to leave out on your end table or where, where people will look at it. And I have a basket in my house where I keep my little mini albums and my kids look through it. And visitors look through these things because they're pretty. And uh, it's an easy way to show off your grandchildren without digging through your purse. Okay, there you are, and um, another flat, I mean another um, tag. And this is another three page flap, and this is a Jolie's, and it says boy on it. I don't know if you can see it. The paper matched pretty good. On the other sides of some of the paper was kind of girly, so I had to be careful about that. And there's that. And here's some little balloons. Here's another place for a picture, and another place for a picture. Oops, come on here. There we go. And this was a goof up. I did it wrong, but she'll never know. Little big tag, another place, another slot for a picture. And this could go either side, I guess. But I put it this side, and this is a um, three-page slot here, big tag there, little slot there, and then here's a cute little stork on this page, and another page with a slot, and another tag, big tag. These tags go all the way down, and on the last page there's a three-page spread. So, and um, actually I have had an extra tag, so I put that in there. So there you are. This is what I've been working on. I finished this in about a day and a half. I I got it all together at Michael's and, and um, got the, the cover on. The cover is chipboard. It's, it's, it's pretty even, but I didn't make anything fancy to close it. I just found some ribbon that says it's a boy, and we'll just uh, tie that in a, a bow. And here's a little sailboat and a baby bottle. These are felt here, and this is a little baby swinging from a branch in a tree with a blanket, and his name is Nathaniel. So. That's that one, and that's what I've been working on. And I like to do the projects that I can get finished and move on to something else so I don't get bored. But keep going. Keep working on them, and send me some pictures, too. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.